Now, Japanese cuisine offers a very large variety of dishes and regional specialities, but you don't have to travel to Japan to taste its natural flavor. Now, the Japan Pavilion at the Shanghai World Expo can offer you an opportunity to experience the culture of Japanese food. Next, ICS's Lee Dong will sit down to illustrate some popular dishes and recipes. Hi everyone, I'm Shili Dong, and I'm sitting here at the restaurant inside the Japanese pavilion. I'm here with Mr. Skamoto, who is the Commissioner General. So I see that all our food is already on the table. This is just a starter. This is only the starter. It's so much. This is sashimi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is uh, sesame tofu sesame with tofu? Uh, abalone, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a Japanese style. Oh, very nice. How do you say enjoy your food in Japanese? Uh, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. It's delicious. Yeah. It's not fishy at all, which means it's very fresh and very tender. Very nice, very nice. So now I'm on the other side of the tapenyaki, and I'm here with our tapenyaki chef. Since it takes at least eight years to become a tapenyaki chef, I have only half an hour, so I'll just be assisting today. Tepanyaki refers to cooking dishes on an iron plate. The meal usually starts with vegetables, then comes fish, and finally meat. And there are dipping sauces to add a variety of flavors. But tepanyaki is not just about cooking. It's also about making a harmonious selection of ingredients, colors, and even plates and bowls. Gracious movements in the cooking process and treating everything with respect make the eating a great honor. Mm. Ah, he's putting some ice cubes. So our chef puts ice cubes on the lobsters because it will give a steam effect which will help the texture of the lobster. And she covers it up because it might splatter because water and oil means a lot of mess sometimes. The lobster and scallops are ready. It's presented in a very simple way, but that's normal for Japan. It's simple, but carefully thought about. Very good. Mm. The next course is beef, and this beef is actually very special. It looks different from the normal steak we have, so we only need to put a little bit of oil on the tapenyaki because while the beef is cooking on the tapenyaki, it releases some of its natural fat. How long does this take before it's ready? One minute. One minute. One minute. Now that's fast. Please try and tell us if it has the same flavor as back in Japan. Mm, this is very tender and very juicy. So to have some traditional Japanese food, you don't have to travel all the way to Japan. You can come here to the restaurant at the Japanese pavilion and try for yourself. Now I've been assisting the whole time, and I know after the main course comes dessert, so I think I deserve that. Mr. Skamoto, it was a great pleasure to have you on our show. Let's eat. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.